Hi, welcome to Proki. Today, we are going to look into the production feature of Proki. The production feature of Proki helps to manage your production effectively. If you are a restaurant owner, a bakery owner, or you are into production of finished products, then this video is for you. By the end of this video, you are going to learn how to add your ingredients, how to add your recipe, how to add your finished product. Let's get started. Click on the production feature right here. We have the recipe, the production, the settings, and the production report. We are going to start with the recipe. Recipe makes up our production. Recipe is made up of ingredients or raw materials that make up our final product. So to add our recipe, you're going to need to add ingredients and your final product. To add our ingredients and final product, click on product feature right here. Now that we are on product, click on the add button to add your first ingredient. My first ingredient is, is flour, enter your product name. Right here, you're going to note this. Check this not for selling button because your ingredients are not for sale. Then select the unit. Select your ingredients unit or add a new unit by clicking on the plus button right here. You're going to enter your unit name, the short name. I'm going to use CP as my own and allow decimal. If you're going to need to use half cup, half of this particular unit. So allow decimal, which is yes, and click on the save button. Now that we have our unit saved, the next thing is to go ahead and enter the purchase price the purchase price is 200 per cup enter your purchase price and make sure that your selling price is zero because your ingredients are not for sale save then click on the save and add stock button enter the quantity remaining 100 cup remaining so we have 100 cup of flour then click on the save button congratulations you have been able to add your first ingredient you can repeat this process to add as many as possible ingredients now let's add our final product click on the add button to add your final product this time, we are not checking the not for selling button because we are adding our final product. So the final product, which is bread, enter your product's name, select the unit for your bread. So my bread is in pieces, select pieces or use the add button right here to add a new unit. Now that we have this, enter your selling price. So enter the selling price and make sure that the purchase price is empty when you are adding your final product because you're not purchasing this final product you are going to manufacture them yourself then click on the save button when you are true with entering the necessary information click on the save button now that we have our ingredients and the final product. Let's go to production. Click on the production feature. Now we are ready to add recipe to our ingredient. Click on the add button right here to add your recipe. You're going to choose your finished products that you want to add recipe. Type the name 
type the name of your finished product right here and it comes up then click on continue to add recipe but before we do that you can copy from an existing recipe if you have any but since we have none click on continue to add your recipe we have to select our ingredient select our ingredient and input the quantity that makes up our final product so my ingredient is flour type flour and enter the final quantity the final quantity is 100 cups if you have other ingredients you are going to select them the same way you select flour you're going to select other ingredients since i don't have any other ingredients then we are good to go you can add production step to this recipe if you like the next thing to do is to add your total output quantity 100 cups of flour will manufacture 200 pieces of bread you also need to enter your production cost if you have it calculated ingredient cost is 20,000 naira you can also enter your recipe instructions sieving the flour mixing the flour together with baking powder with yeast you can enter those here at the recipe instructions here scroll down and click on save when you are through entering the necessary information click on the save button now you have been able to add a recipe of 200 pieces of bread let's dive into how to add our production we have to effect production to the recipe we just created to do that click on the production right here click on the add button to effect your production to the recipe select the business location and also select your final product once you select your final product the quantity entered during the recipe will show up right here you can enter your wastage percentage if you have any you can also enter your production cost you have to click on the finalize button to add stock to the production check the finalize button and click on submit congratulations you have been able to add a production of 200 pieces of bread you can check your production report check your stock report from the production reports right here to see the quantity you just produced click on the production report you can select the location you can also filter by date and click on stock once you click on stock you, you are now on the stock report you produce 200 pieces of bread we have 200 pieces of bread manufactured let's go back to production to see other features of production click on settings you can disable editing ingredient quantity in production you can also check update product purchase price based on production price on finalizing production once you check these buttons you're going to click on update and your settings will be affected Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.
Brokeep, your business growth partner.